Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's check out Earhart on Nintendo Switch. Just beat us hard. What the heck? What a bizarre world you guys live in. Alright, uh. Yeah, for options. Camera shake? Oh, I think not, my friend. Let's check out story mode. Really, the controller I have in my hand. Why? Why are you, why are you asking? Oh, that's right. B buttons to confirm. <sighs> These freaking Xbox conversions, PC conversions. <laughs> that's not the button we use on the system, jerks. Please, all the game progress. Uh, I haven't even started the game. What else? That's the normal mode. Nor no permanent death game over possible. Losing airplane parts can't be completely over, uh, over overted. Oh, averted. Wow, that text is not great. Um, novice twin stick pilot seeking an aerial adventure. Hard mode. Oh, fuck that. Should we call it normal when mode? I was and just fuck a that. Child, my father brought me on a journey across the desert to find our new home. He hoped that the city in the sky would provide a better life, free from the dangers below. The last time I saw him, he was waving goodbye as I flew over the walls of the spire. I quickly discovered that surviving in Granaria's underside is nothing but struggle. Sky fishing is a way of life up here, despite the low pay and risk of pirates. These days, I make ends meet fixing planes out of my hangar with a little fishing on the side. I know there's more for me up here than just scraping by. The old undersiders tell stories about the sky whale, a creature in the highest layer that would make anyone who catches it incredibly rich. That's what father would want for me. That's how I'll finish his story. Wait, you want to promote whaling? Uh, oh, uh huh. Ah, it's like a tutorial. Cherry Blossoms Yard 1. Pirate activity has been on the rise, so the topsiders are forcing sky fishers to pass flight tests. The first time I tried, they failed me for being a bit... rough. Can't fly until I'm approved, so I guess following the rules for a little while won't hurt. Good morning, I am your examiner, John. Today we will evaluate whether you are capable of holding a sky fishing license. Can you please clean up the debris and collect all this scrap before we start? Oh, I'll just eat my sandwich. Hey, why don't you get in my way, jerk? Thanks, kid. Okay, let's begin. First, show me how you can handle your plane. Fly through all golden trees located in the area and try not to hit any rocks on the way. Perfect. Let's see if you can thread the needle as well. Now fly through the stone arches. Good work. First part of this exam is behind us now. Uh, it's behind us, so now let's test your fishing skills. I'll release uh, some fish for you. Catch three of them to pass the test. Shit. Great. 
the this that concludes the old exam. So let's move on to the next one. As you know, we've had lots of problems with pirates lately, and if the police are too busy to take your call, we want you to be able to defend yourself. Your plane has been upgraded with a Granaria standard X X31 weapon mount. Try to aim with it and shoot uh, those practice targets. Jesus, we get out of my way, you jackass! Good enough, but a hostile enemy won't be as e uh, such easy targets to your fire. I'm releasing the drones now, so you can try with a moving target. Let's release the drones. Good, good. We encourage fishers to use the portals from the Uplift Corporation to catch fish in different layers of the sky to avoid overfishing. However, the portals are now blocked automatically owning to the pirates when there are planes nearby without the Skytax transmitter. Get rid of those drones there to see how it works. It's just like a bunch of nothing, he said. It's like Star Trek speech. <laughs> Good work. We're almost done. Don't forget you'll have to use a harpoon to bring home large and valuable catches of fish. See what your Hapuni skills are like. Please detach the shields from the tower over there. I think you'll do well. Let's return home to Granaria so I can officially issue you with a sky fishing license. Welcome to the crafting tutorial. Here you'll learn how to craft your own plane parts out of the scrap you earn by defeating enemies in battle. As your father always told you, pretty much everything you people throw away can be put to good use. These are your crafting resources. Every time you return home you and you found some remains, they get added to the black base scrap category. As you invent new combinations, more and more resources will be available to craft with. This is the crafting bench. Here you add crafting resources together to try out combinations of them. New crafting materials and airplane parts are made by combining three to five crafting resources together. But you don't have to guess the combinations out of the blue. Amelia always has a lot of ideas, uh, uh, a lot of ideas what combinations could work. These are stored at the bottom under the ideas. Uh, an idea is always possible to create with your current resources and its icon shows several hints on how to make, how to make it. Okay, let's create something then. Uh, this should be easy. Father taught me all the basics back when we were still living at home. I do that, and that, and that. myself not liking this part of the game. Well done, my little one. I'm proud of you. I'll teach I'll teach something dangerous now, so pay good attention. Take a bit of metal and in case the gunpowder in it, but be very careful. Small ammo, yay. This is how you do complex machinery machinery out of basic parts. With the pipe, the box, and the ammo, we could even create a simple but deadly weapon. I really hope you'll never have to build something like this, though. You're gonna have to build something like this. I don't have that thing, but what the hell are you talking about? I don't have the box. 
box. Oh, okay, I made all that stuff. You yeah, had to switch between all these menus like that? Let's go ahead and Preparations. My new adventure begins today. I can catch that Sky Whale no matter the cost. Wherever he is, I know I'll make Father proud. I'll feel especially proud of myself if he's the la very last of his kind. Yay! Sorry, Ossifer.
more stuff. Uh, assault gun. Save my money. So, do I just fish everything to extinction? Or what am I doing exactly? Making a little teardrop? Am I, am I making the fish cry? What the heck am I doing? Why am I such a cruel person? <laughs> I am. I'm making them cry. That's a. That's good. Is this all I do? Jerk, huh? Where are all 
all the fish. Shoot the fish here. shit about the fish. Just too busy shooting each other. Or shooting the fish. He wasn't bothering me, but uh, 
I was catching my fish. violent. shit and didn't really get any very good hints as to what are valid combinations. really all there is to it. Uh, this is Anapostri, watching Airheart Tales of Broken Wing on Nintendo Switch. Uh, I think at its heart, it's a very simple game. It's a game where you gather resources and then build up your character. So, sort of like a pen and paper RPG, I suppose. Um, just a dual stick shooting version of that. I mean, there's not much There's not much to it, honestly. It's a, it's, it's a super simple game. Uh, I don't know if this is something that can't sustain most people's attention for very long, uh, unless you're the kind of person that's really, really addicted to uh, uh, upgrading your character, or in this case, upgrading your, your 
aircraft. Um, you know, personally, I'm not, I'm not getting the hook, uh, but I could see how somebody could be addicted to it. Um, I just think that the game needs more, uh, a little bit more direction and uh, a little bit more motivation. You know, I mean, outside of just somebody wanting to have a better craft. I, I don't think that's enough. I don't think it's enough of a driver. At least for me, it isn't. Um, but, you know, the game runs well enough. Um, it's not... <laughs> obviously, it's not a technology monster. I mean, it's a very, very simple-looking game. Uh, but it's sufficient. It gets the job done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.